15 mothers, all women, mostly in the city of Portacourt, were found naked and dead. And what was strange about this particular case was there were white strips of clothes around their neck, around their arms, and around their legs. Could this case be a case of ritual killing or a case of serial killing? Welcome back to my channel. This is Crime Tales by me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. 15 ladies were all killed, strangled. And they met their dead end when they encountered a particular man named Gracious David West. Gracious David West actually hails from a fishing town of Bogoma in Portacot, Nigeria. He was born in the year 1980. Gracious was had a pretty tough childhood. He was born into a polygamous family. He was an only son of his father. He was also an only child of his mother. Now, Gracious and the mother had to even live separately, far away from the rest of the family. And those who knew Gracious one-on-one -on -one personally said he had a pretty tough childhood years later the father died years later gracious said his mother was poisoned by her fellow co-wives after the demise of both his father and his mother much was expected from david as an only son of the father but he couldn't meet up why was that because reportedly gracious was a member of a cult group and this cult group actually sprung out from a militant group and they were notorious and known for their criminal acts and involvement in jazz. Although David West reportedly was a member of a cult group, during his killing spree, he acted alone. Now, on June 2019, that was when David actually had this irresistible or just overwhelming urge to just kill. Now, from every night of July, David would scout the streets of Port Harcourt looking for a target. And most of his targets were sex workers, ladies who hang around hotels to be get, to get paid for the night and he goes to these ladies offers them a large count, sum of amount for the night and they jump in so when they go in he takes them to a local bar they go have fun they eat they drink they have sexual intercourse then they go to bed now from this lady's end they feel the next morning they're going to get paid for work being rendered but no David Gracious West had another plan altogether. He wakes up at midnight, he has a pen knife with him, he would tear the pillowcases into different strands, and he wakes these ladies up, ties them to a chair, takes their valuables such as their money, their card, their ATM, and even takes their ATM pin. And when he's done taking their ATM pin, that's when he strangles them with his bare hands. He ties this rope around their their neck, their arms, and their wrists, and he strangles them. He doesn't use the pen knife, he just uses the pen knife to frighten them, to threaten them. And when he's done struggling, strangling these ladies, he runs out. Now, this very pattern he uses, he used actually for all of his 15 mothers, the same pattern, the same routine. He will go out, offer them a last sum of amount, go take them to a hotel. They eat, they drink, they have sexual intercourse, they sleep. He wakes up at midnight, strangles these ladies, threaten them, take their valuables, take their ATM pin, and that was what happened. Not until he met Bennett Etting, a 23-year-old girl. This particular lady, they did the same thing, offered her a large sum of amount, took her to a local hotel, they had fun, they drank, they ate, they are sexual intercourse, they went to bed. Midnight, he got up to this normal routine. But this particular lady's own was quite different because she pleaded and pleaded for him not to kill her. So he just took her valuables and he left. And that was where he made a very costly mistake. Because while all of this murder was going on, these people of Port Harcourt were in uproar. There were a lot of protests going on because there was a serial killer on the move. A man who goes about killing ladies in hotels room so when he left bennett immediately went to the police she was found by the hotel attendants and she was taken to the police station and that was where she gave her report now his face was plastered everywhere now they asked her could it be that at midnight why why didn't you scream because that was the question i was wondering they take you to a hotel. The hotel is not like an isolated area. A lot of other persons are actually in that hotel also. So why really make wake up at midnight and you don't scream? From our reports, Grish Bennett Etem said what he does is he takes them to a local hotel where 
there is very low poor security no cctv camera at all then when it's time for him to perform his normal routine he turns on the tv in the room puts it at the highest volume or if there's no tv in that hotel it, it carries a speaker or there's a radio he turns it to the highest volume so no matter how much they scream which most of the time because of the knife he uses to threaten them they don't even scream now even if they were to scream no matter how they scream the tv's volume is at its loudest so there's nobody to come for them and when he's done he strangles them with his bare hands and after the report was done his face was plastered everywhere on news on newspapers tvs and everywhere david west knew that he was in hot soup and he decided to run to a neighboring state aquarium state aquarium state is not too far from port harcourt but on his way in september t- on the 19th of september 2019 that was when he was arrested by the police and upon his arrest he made confessions of the 15 murders now they had to actually put pressure the when he was taken to court the court the judge decided that he needs to go on trial because of due to his gravity of this whole case and when he went on trial he was convicted of nine cases of murder attempted murder and robbery now you'll be wondering why nine case because the other cases nobody came forward to say okay my sister was killed due to lack of evidence they were dropped so he was convicted of nine cases of murder and attempted murder and robbery so he was sentenced to death by hanging on 20th of october 2020 and that is the case of gracious david west don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and i also like to hear your comment do you actually think there was a connection to this case with ritualism or for money making or do you just think it was just mere serial killing i like to hear your comments below thank you